from D. Zrubek. Help or help me help you or something like that. Please read. Hey, Adam, I've decided that since I can't make it up to D.C. by the 8th, that would be for the Joint Summit with President Chum this Saturday, and I haven't had the chance to physically be there for any of the events that have taken place, which is saddening, because I feel the pas passion burning in my chest when I see your YouTube videos, and it makes me feel immensely proud to be a libertarian. I want to stand with you because until I saw your videos, that burning passion that is seeking true freedom was starting to die out, and I slowly became more and more depressed, and I felt helpless. Thoughts cross my mind, such as, I can't change the world alone, and I don't want to live in some false sense of freedom for the rest of my life. And though that's one example, I imagine you could understand what else I felt. And bam, I found one of your videos, and I couldn't stop watching because I felt so connected to what you say. At first, I didn't understand it, but once I realized you were talking about things I had previously been thinking about, that's when the passion started returning to me, burning brighter than ever. And I think, you know, a lot of Americans are in this situation. And if, if my videos are, are providing this service, I mean, wow. Uh, I really can't imagine greater feedback to be humbled by. But if this is the case, how do we do this to, uh, you know, how do we expand the audience? How do we provide this for more people? And, you know, I know that people like, uh, I guess it's uh, Danny here, would, would want to share the message. You know, I, I really want the input from the audience. Like, if you can't share my videos, and a lot of my videos get shared, I'm very grateful for that and how people do that. And, and it's huge to not just help fund the show, because now we're, we're part of the Google machine, you know, we get paid for YouTube views. Um, if, if our videos aren't something that you would share with people around you, then, then in a sense, they're no good. I don't want to be preaching to the choir or just providing arguments to people if they're never going to use them. And, and I think that's, an, that's another important part of the service I provide is that if I'm looking at the news and, and analyzing it the way that I do and doing the research where it's needed and coming up with the, the, the best arguments to, to bring up when discussing these issues, then I, I hope that people are watching my videos and not just keeping these ideas to themselves. I hope that they're actually going out and engaging in conversations with people. And if people go, where the fuck did you get that idea? You can at least, you know, go, uh, this jackass. I actually think we can do this. Now that I know I wasn't alone all along, I felt much better and wanted to take action any way I could, but then I realized something, what can I do? You know, I think a lot of Americans are in this situation too, and you really, you might be surprised. I mean, how much you want to bet there's someone listening to this podcast right now who is is working some schmuck office job and and they're they're the only maybe maybe they're the only young dude in their office who's really passionate about this who's got like the the Molin Labe flag up or 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 the uh you know Lovolution bumper sticker or something and they go I'm all alone fuck what's all my coworkers are douchebag pussy sheeple and they have no idea what's going on I bet I'll bet you'd surprise yourself if you go talk to them and and, and you're probably right about most you're probably right. I'm not going to challenge that. But there are a lot, I guarantee you there are libertarians right now, young dudes mostly. Listen to this right now. Ask yourself if you're one of them who's in some work environment where you think you're surrounded by schmucks and, and, and you only think that because you haven't talked to them yet. And maybe they don't have any of the outward signs. Maybe because they don't know. Maybe out, maybe out of ignorance of, of, hey, there's a freedom movement going on here because the mainstream media hasn't just told them about it yet. And, and, and they're waiting for you! They're waiting for you to show them the light, to just say, hey, you're not alone. But you have to start the conversation somewhere. And you might find that even in, 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 in an office full of, of, of button-ups and, you know, uh, you know tightwads and, and people that you think just act like total sheeple, you might find yourself with people who are waiting for this message. And, and you might be the key. And you might be their best friend. You know, a lot of libertarians have that guy who introduced them, who got them started. You know, and you always think, oh, that guy. And you, they, they always have a, a special place in your heart and your mind where you, you, that, was the, that was the guy. That was, that was the gal that, that got me started on this. I, yeah, I remember that. That was the one that, that took the time to talk me out of my stupidity. That was, the, that was the guy who had the patience with me to keep talking, to keep questioning, to keep making sense, to, to, to be understanding that I was dealing with some cognitive dissonance and they pulled me out. And it's not just about getting the other guys that are already libertarians to be more active sometimes. It's really just about the person that was waiting to hear this message. The person that was waiting for you to, to pull them out of their cubicle. It's just like, well, fuck! 
that Danny's words. Because I want to join these movements, and no matter which way I think about it, I just can't find any way to go to them. I live in Texas. I'm by no means wealthy, so unless you have an idea, I won't be able to support what I believe. Of course, I could make signs or simple things like that, but I want to be in the front line with you and show that freedom is what is most important to me, not just my freedom, but everyone's. And this is another reason I'm glad that we're doing 50 states now officially as part of the plan for Independence Day, because uh, more people like you can get to these local events. And I, I think that's important, too, that people realize their limitations. But part of me wants to, to, to be unsympathetic here and say, you know what, I don't care if you can't afford to get to, to D.C., you better get your ass to Austin. Like, really? You, I don't care if you live in Houston or far west Texas or Dallas. Like, you can do it. And here's how you need to weigh this out. Because I know, I know people are in tough situations. Not everybody can travel all the time. I'm not trying to set any false expectations here. But now that you know that there's a movement going on, that there are events happening, that people are coming together to get shit done and get the word out and wake people up, what is the cost of sitting at home and missing it? What is the cost of... of dealing with the, the, the consequences of that much more tyranny for that much longer because you didn't get involved and dealing with the, the knowing that, that you didn't do what you could. Now, again, not to set any unrealistic expectations. Doesn't mean you have to travel at all. Maybe it's just getting out, talking to your neighbors. Maybe it's spreading the message that way. Maybe it's you can't get out of the house because of a medical condition. Maybe it's, you know, having a, a YouTube channel or, or a blog or, or whatever it is. Or, or, but doing the outreach to actually stimulate the conversation. I feel like this is the time that we as the people need to step forth and regain the liberty that was unrightfully stolen from, from them due to our corrupt, and without a better way to say it, how fucked up the federal government is and has been. But like I said, it's depressing. I can't be out there with you guys. If there was a way I could, I would. I've decided that the best thing I can do is create a website of my own and try to don gain donations for the cause. I would appreciate your guidance, wisdom, or anything you could pass on to me. I'm very dedicated to standing up for our freedoms. I just want to do more. I wish I could do more. I just don't know what more I can do. If you have the time, feel free to reply, I would appreciate it, Danny. I would like nothing more than to join you on this road to regaining liberty. Danny, thank you. And, and I, I do have a, a couple more words on, on, this, on this note with Adam versus the man specifically, because while I, I feel I just fell over backwards into this position and I'm so grateful to be able to do what I do for a living every day, uh, I also want to grow my business and I want to provide this opportunity for other people to go professional with their hobbies, basically. I mean, that's, that's the future. That's, that's how this economy is, uh, is, is going to recover when people are able to, to achieve the level of specialization of labor that the current level of technological and productive development uh, would suggest. And one of the ways we do that, and uh, Jeremy is sitting right here, he's our affiliate coordinator, and it's a, he provides an opportunity for people to make a thousand, excuse me, one dollar for every thousand views they're able to generate in the first month with the video on my YouTube channel. That's a great opportunity. And now that we're up to, uh, what, 65 plus subscribers, it's really not that hard for someone to say, hey, I remixed a speech of yours and put some graphics over it, or uh, I did some original reporting here in my hometown, or I did whatever, and uh, to, to expect that a good video on my channel is going to get 20,000 views is pretty reasonable. That's 20 bucks. You get 20 bucks. If you can make a video in an hour, shit. Now, it's, that's, that's, that's a pretty high expectation. That's an ideal. Not everybody's going to get to that. But if you're unemployed and you're, you're just making enough money to scrape by, first of all, we pay under the table. <laughs> Happy to say that. We pay in gold, silver, merchandise, marijuana, bitcoins, litecoins, whatever. Uh, labor, commodities, whatever. Whatever works for you. So if, if, if you're in this position where you're out of work or you, you're, you're underemployed and you want to do something to, to be involved with the freedom movement and you like independent media production and you're an actual listener of the Adam vs. the Man podcast now 40 minutes into this Friday special, I assume that this is an opportunity you'd want to pursue. So I don't know, Jeremy, if you have anything else you'd want me to add, but I just want to put out your email here, Jeremy, J-E-R-E-M-Y, at AdamVersusTheMan.com. There's also edit at AdamVersusTheMan.com, which he, which he watches, and footage at AdamVersusTheMan.com if you want to go through one of those specific channels, or the general Adam at AdamVersusTheMan.com. But uh, we want to develop more content for the channel, and we want to provide our audience with a way to make money doing it. We will be back. 
and we will get back to you. So right now we're still developing this. We're still getting it fully up to speed. And it's it's been kind of hit or miss in the past. And we've had some staff turnover here. It's a very small, mostly volunteer team, by the way. But we want to get to this point where, you know, we, we see everybody as a partner. If you can if you can make me money, I can afford to pay you. That's what I tell everybody. And I'll tell that to the general public of my audience as well to tell you that uh, we want to provide those opportunities. Now, if you don't have production skills or anything like that, but you have a sense of it, that's fine. And I'm, Jeremy's going to yeah. hate me for saying this, but no, Jeremy will hold your hand and coach you through everything and babysit you until you can produce videos. And, and I'm happy to provide that connection of someone who has very specific skills to be able to connect with members of the audience and share those skills. Like that's, that's what the movement should be about. Or one of the things that's really important for, for developing a, you know, a sustainable movement here. And, and, and I want to you know, increase the skills bank of the movement in this sense. So there's that with the affiliate program. Did I miss anything? That's, that covers it for now, okay. And second of all, we now have someone uh, on board as a development director, which is the, the fancy politically correct term for fundraiser. And her name is Liz, and she's wonderful, and, and she's still getting settled and organized. But I'll give you a, a little sneak preview here. We are going to be selling a new special subscription package, basically, for members of the Adam vs. the Man Legion, or Legionnaires, as you will be referred to from now on, who, uh, you know, for $30 a month, will get a, a whole range of goodies and some, you know, Legionnaire-only kind of information and access, as well as uh, access to our priority email for having your email read on the air, and when we bring back the live show, uh, a special way to get in the queue to get called, I will call you during the show if you email me to the, the, the secret Legionnaire email address and uh, we'll get you on the front of the line for that. So we're going to be doing that for $30 a month. We still have our, our subscriber packages up on, on the website right now. But if people want to get involved as uh, to help with fundraising or selling those memberships or anything else, Email Liz at AdamVersusTheMan.com. And that's probably too much time spent during this podcast uh, bullshitting about uh, promotional stuff like this. But uh, I think it's really important to, to say that this is, this is something that, that I, mean, I care about. And as, as we've been growing Adam vs. The Man over the last, I guess, uh, year and a half since my TV show was canceled, really developing it as an independent operation, which really only started as you know, being more than a YouTube channel when we launched the podcast just over a year ago, um, you know, we've we've been trying to get the organization together, but this is really important to me. Uh, th that and, and we've we've had some great successes. Um, we've had some videos that have done fifty thousand views, uh, even before we had as many subscribers as we had now, and people were able to to make a, you know a little chunk of cash from uh, from their contributions. But we really want to develop a host of people that are regularly able to plug in to submit content for the Adam vs. the Man channel, to really develop it as a, a destination news source, and have first-hand reports from, from all over the country from the audience and, and really make it a uh, participatory experience. But especially for people like Danny who find themselves in that situation, we want to provide an opportunity that allows you to, to make some money as well. It's like standing over me, raking my brain with the truth of the universe. Welcome to Adam versus the Changa. Like an orgasm, I guess, in that sense. And in, it's like it wasn't sexual at all.